God of War is the bomb if you want to see mythological monsters and giants in action. The early three parts were mainly Greek, while the fourth series of games deals with creatures, giants and gods of Norse mythology. So here in this video we will showcase to you guys 15 of the biggest seen in the game God of War 4 and Ragnarok. So let's get to it. At 15 we have the Trolls. Trolls are formidable adversaries encountered in both God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok. These massive creatures feature imposing tusks on their faces and wield substantial stone totems imbued with elemental powers through engraved runes. These trolls are usually twice the height of a grown man and 10 times more massive in weight. Number 14. Ancients Even larger than trolls, these ancients are elemental golems introduced as mini-bosses in God of War 2018. They are primordial beings linked to the ancient entity called Ymir. Composed of rock and any one of the elemental powers, these beings are powerful but lack sensory organs. They lack mouths and speech featuring only a torso, head, limbs and a heart, but they can still move in any direction they want to. 13. Drakes These drakes are massive reptilian monsters found in Alfheim and Vanaheim. They appear as bosses in God of War Ragnarok. Drakes are a variety of dragons that are quadrupedal with a large head and a robust build. They are wingless dragons with tusks and are incredibly strong up to a point where they can cause minor tremors on the ground they step on. Number 12. Charlie Charlie is a gigantic tortoise with a large tree on his shell. There is also a house beneath him that is part and parcel of his body. Although he is non-hostile, his size however does make him look imposing especially with a large freaking tree on top. Number 11. Nidhogg She was a giant dragon who lived between the branches of the world tree protecting its roots as part of the cycle of the universe. As a primordial and a matriarch of the Linworms, Nidhiok was a being of incredible power and also one of the oldest beings in the Nine Realms. It can create an interdimensional rift between the worlds as well as tap into the power of the Bifrost. Number 10. Fenrir At first, Fenrir seems to be just a regular wolf with a dense grey and white fur and vibrant hazel eyes. He was old and sickly. Following the transplantation of his soul into Garm's body, a hellhound, Garm undergoes a transformation, being replaced and becoming a gigantic wolf, the present Fenrir. As a reborn hellhound, Fenrir is one of the most powerful beings in all the Nine Realms. Number 9. Fafnir One of three dragons that were originally dwarves, obsessed with treasure, he came upon a mirror of the Vanir, which turns anyone who glances at their reflection in it to turn into a dragon and as a dragon he was green in color with yellowish wings that possess red highlights. His size was formidable although not as large as a true dragon seen later on. Number 8. Regin So Regin was also originally a dwarf, a dwarven blacksmith to be precise, who was turned into a dragon through both unknown means and reasons. As a dragon he was as big as Fafnir and has yellowish green coloration with reddish wings. He also has a big crest on his head and possesses the power to shoot electricity and lightning from his mouth. Number 7. Otter Otter, also originally a dwarf, is one of three dragons captured by the Dwarf King. However, the dragon would then successfully escape and sought revenge on his captors, but was later recaptured again and was chained to a magical anchor. He was a bit larger than the other two, with a more distinctive reddish coloration and having a single large horn on the snout. Number 6. Rezler An actual male dragon residing in the heart of the mountain, the highest peak in Midgard, he is larger than the other dwarf dragons. Despite his formidable size, his wings are either deformed or torn, rendering them virtually non-functional. He is also covered in thick scales and armed with large claws and teeth, and he can unleash lightning from his mouth, creating a storm of supercharged electricity around him. Number 5. Half Guffars half guffars appear as large-sized jellyfish-like creatures with bluish skins and emit light, although this is because they were imprisoned underground and had no access to the light of Alfheim. For unknown reasons, they were trapped with hive material by the light elves and when they were released, their true size was seen which was larger than any dragon seen prior to them. Number 4. Res Velger So Res Velger, a Jodan featured in both God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok, serves as the present sovereign or ruler of Helheim. Known by the title Hell itself, she observes the realm and its inhabitants from the highest structure, resembling a four-winged black green eagle with an unsettling glow surrounding her presence. Number 3. Thamur Thamur was a Jodan who, before his death, attempted to build a wall around Jodenheim as a way to protect his people from Thor during the war between the giants and the gods. As a frost giant, 
he possesses his ability, his kind's ability, to control over eyes. He also has unbelievable durability as seen with him being still alive, although having a chisel penetrating right through his skull. Number 2. Surtur Surtur is the first and a last fire giant, as well as the second being in existence to be born. He was the ruler of Muspelheim and all the fire giants. Surtur is actually destined to become Ragnarok, the apocalypse itself destined to bring about the doom of Asgard. After becoming Ragnarok, Surtur becomes a titan-sized creature that seems to be a combination of fire and ice at the same time. And number 1. Jormungandr Also known as the World Serpent, Jormungandr is a male Jordan serpent destined to fight Thor come Ragnarok. He is a gigantic snake with an extremely long body covered in thick scales that were pale blue in color. He is one of the strongest giants as well, equal to Thor in power and physically the largest monster or creature in the God of War 4 game series. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Take care guys.